Good afternoon. Happy Saturday. So this is a video from James Freeman, passenger ID refusal. You may notice it is in a commercial vehicle. A commercial vehicle requires a commercial driver's license. And it also requires you to comply with all of the federal rules because you are engaged in interstate commerce. Yes, I know that you may not be engaged in interstate commerce, but Wickard v. Filburn and its progeny means that if you are doing something which may affect interstate commerce, blah, 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 you're engaged in interstate commerce. I'm not saying it's right. I'm just saying that's the current state of the law. I'm not saying I agree with any of this. I'm just, I'm just suggesting to you that it is the current state of the law. Now, James Freeman in this video thinks that the, uh, that because there is a passenger, the passenger doesn't have to identify. And he may be right about that passenger not having to identify, but that could have some serious ramifications ramifications for the driver because you see there is this happy little uh, code of federal regulations CFR uh, 49 CFR 392.60 which uh, says that unauthorized persons aren't to be transported now the authorization has to be from the carrier the carrier is not the driver the carrier is the company that hires the driver it's the it's the company that has the uh the license from the DOT to operate in interstate commerce, either as a uh, as a uh, trans transporter of goods or as a transporter of people. There's two different kinds. Anyway, uh, <clears throat> so unless specifically authorized to do so by the motor carrier under whose authority the commercial motor vehicle is being operated. No driver shall transport any person or permit any person to be transported on any commercial vehicle other than a bus. So when such authorization is issued, it shall state the name of the person to be transported, the points where the transportation is to begin and end, and the date upon which such authority expires. No written authorization shall be necessary for employees or other persons assigned to a motor vehicle by a motor carrier. Any person transported when aid is being rendered in case of an accident or other emergency, an attendant delegated to care for livestock, and this section doesn't apply to the operation of a commercial motor vehicle controlled and operated by any farmer and used in the transportation of agricultural commodities or products thereof from his or her farm or in the transportation of supplies to his or her farm. Now, what can happen in this particular case? Well, what I think might be going on, and again, I, I don't know. I mean, I, I who knows what's going on in the cop's head? Who knows who knows what happens in the background? I don't really know, and I don't really care. But what could be going on with the uh, with the cop asking for the IDs because he might be trying to find out if this particular person is authorized to be in the vehicle because you know the motor carrier has to have written authorization. I mean, it doesn't have to be in the truck. I think I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure I, I've worked in uh, in LTL in transportation and uh, not only in LTL, I also work in the moving industry, uh, moving and storage. Um, and I've dealt with uh, commercial drivers and I've been in management and supervisory positions and I've had to deal with drivers and make sure their logs are correct and yada 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 so I mean this is all pretty vague I don't really remember a lot about it but uh but I I do remember I think I remember that the uh written authorization can be with the motor vehicle carrier and so maybe maybe the purpose of extending the stop was to get that authorization from the motor vehicle carrier uh, to get some something from the motor vehicle carrier saying that either this person is authorized to be on there and, you know, it's passenger or is authorized to be on there because they are an employee. So I don't I don't exactly know in uh, in uh, the moving industry. It's pretty common for the truck driver to have a passenger on the on the vehicle who is a loader or, a, you know, just a, a general uh, lumper. So. You know that that person's authorized to be on there, and they establish that by saying no by contacting the carrier. I mean, they, they don't always contact the carrier, but I mean, if, if there's some guff over it, then they may. Um, and finding out if that person is in fact you know authorized to be on there if he's employee, yada yada. So 
if if the uh, passenger is unauthorized, if somebody is not in compliance with 49 CFR 392.60, I'm pretty sure that the FCMSA can issue fines. I, I they definitely can prevent the uh, the commercial vehicle from leaving there with the passenger, uh, and they might be able to shut down, uh, issue an out of operation order. Order out of service. I think it's order out of service. OOS. Anyway, they can they can definitely they can definitely prevent that passenger from leaving on the uh, commercial vehicle, and they can issue fines. So, you know, it's it's not like it's not like the cop didn't have a reason, at least under current law, to ask the passenger for the ID. I mean, it's probably not just to be a dick. Probably, and again, I. Maybe, maybe it is. I don't know. And do I think that particular regulation should exist? No, I really don't. I mean, I understand that they don't want uh, they don't want uh, like truck drivers to pick up hitchhikers or truck drivers to pick up hookers or anything like that. I get it, but I mean, does it really stop anybody? I'm I'm sure there are hundreds, if not thousands, of violations of of actual recorded, like documented violations of. 392.6060 a year it and that's just the uh and that's just the documented ones you know what i mean so no i don't really think i don't i don't think it adds anything to safety i, I don't i don't think it adds anything to uh internet commerce it's you know it's it's a bs thing but but it's the way it's the way the law is right now so you know the way the law is right now it is right now and and you just got to deal with the way the law is right now unless you have the balls to change it. And uh, good luck to you if you want to. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.